We are heading off on another boat cruise. We're heading up Maline Lake. We think that's how you pronounce it. It could also be Maline Lake. Or Maligne, like Google says. <laughs> we're not 100% sure, but we're heading up the lake. It's an hour and a half boat cruise, and it takes us to Spirit Island. So I'm very excited to be doing this one. We've been to Jasper like four times and have not done this cruise yet. So I'm very excited to get back out on the water today. Me too, and when we're out on the water, we'll be away from all these midges. So we just did 35 minutes down the river and have just gotten off at Spirit Island. So you come on to the shore, but you don't go onto the actual island itself because it's um, a sacred Sac ceremonial site to the native people in this area, but it's so beautiful. Like, you probably notice I'm talking quietly. It just has that like calm feel about it. Like, and there's not a breath of wind. It's just beautiful, quiet. It is stunning out here. The only wind there is is coming off the midges. <laughs> um, but it's well worth the cruise out here. It was actually stunning. The water's like glass. I mean, there's a kayaker slash canoe slash whatever he is coming in now. And look at that. It looks like ice, not like water. So sick. Very, very beautiful. So then we take a 35 minute boat ride back and just enjoy these incredible views and the beautiful water along the way. And get a snacky snack when we get back. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. <laughs> she didn't pack my snack bag, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she failed me as a wife today. Your wife, not your mother. <laughs> Cold. The boat that we've actually come on for this tour is way bigger than the one that we did at uh, Minnewonka. It doesn't have assigned seating, so it's just like first come, first serve yeah, seats, but they're just like comfier. Sorry, I just cut you off. Okay. <laughs> they're just like a lot comfier, a lot more room, but there's another boat that just pulled up. It's a smaller boat, and they're pretty crammed in there, so we got really lucky to have a beautiful boat this morning. And we just got the best seat in the house for the Yeah, we're like without a <laughs> So we have just driven about 20 k's out of Jasper. Even though it was only 20 k's, it was about a 40 minute drive. And that's because the drive up here was really like tight and windy, but really, really beautiful. We've just come here to do a trail. The trail that we're doing is the Edith Caval Meadows Trail. It should be about three and a half hours round trip. So we'll see you at the top. So, story time. Story time, we're about halfway. But uh, we've had to sort of reassess our situation because the cloud is actually at the level of the trail. So we're not really sure how much we're gonna see and there is more rolling in behind us at the same time as well. So we're sort of just in a bit of a bubble at the yeah, moment. Yeah, like it's the trail's in a valley and the clouds are literally just rolling through this valley like we can't see. Yeah. We're not gonna see anything. We're at the top, there's sort of a viewpoint near um, near the glaciers I guess, which is um, it's actually a pretty cool spot to stop because we thought there was thunder coming in but mm. it turned out it was the glacier dropping. So we sat there and watched that. Yeah, for a bit. all of a sudden you could just see like little drops of it was ice like it was and raining rock. Ice. And yeah, it was very cool. It was unreal. Yeah, and it was just echoing through the valley. It was very cool. It was quite wild and quite loud. Yeah. And it went for quite a time. So we are going to head back down to the bottom of the trail and Go to the next stop. Figure Actually, out let's go get some lunch. Mm. Yeah, we'll have some lunch. Yeah, I like food. <laughs> See you at lunchtime. We just got back to our campground. We're just going to make some quick lunch. We're just heating up some leftover beans that we had lying around at the house. And then we're going to head back into town and do a little bit more exploring. We're going to try and figure out what we're going to do to fill in the time that we would have been hiking. So watch this space. Waiting to turn on the highway and it's literally up right here. Oh, Frank said it's right across the road as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a few over there. Don't be these assholes making a traffic jam to look at the animals.
back on the road now. We're going to be heading to Pyramid Lake. Pyramid Lake. So we are going to the lake that is like this. Not like this, like this. Yeah, it's only a 15 minute drive from our campground. We're staying at the Whistler's campground. We did think we were staying at Wapiti campground, so we like rocked up at Wapiti last night. And they're like, you gotta have a camp spot here. You need to go across the road. That's all good. And then after we've been to the lake, it's very like cozy, rainy weather. So we decide to treat ourselves kind of weather. We're gonna go get a beaver tail. Not an actual beaver's tail, but a pastry of yumness. You would have seen us have these on our band vlog that we did last summer and they're so good. We've not had one since last summer, so I'm very excited because they are mwah, so good. We have just arrived at Pyramid Lake. I was just thinking, we've probably shown you guys like a bazillion lakes since we've been in Canada, but each one of them is so beautiful and just so unique. This one, I think in like the middle of fall would look absolutely stunning because all the colors are starting to turn. But wait until you see this. It's very pretty and the drive out here was also very, very pretty. This is a really beautiful little spot. It actually just reminds us of Spirit Island, which is the one that we saw at the start of this video. Like it's a little bridge that comes over um, and you can actually like walk around on this one, but it's really like just calm, quiet, just not as hectic as you would find in a lot of places. Really pretty. And apparently you can even hire it for a venue. So it looks like they've got a space where you could like get married and stuff, which is pretty cool. Apparently like, you can't have the whole island, like I still keep open to public, but I don't know, it'd be a pretty cool spot to get married, I reckon. It's a sick spot to get married, just having the backdrop. Yeah, 100%. So, think about getting married, when you're in Jasper, maybe think about coming to Pyramid Lake. Use code US and you get a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Not Brandon wishful thinking that we have some sort of discount code to give you guys on anything. <laughs> Dreams are free. Hey, one day, watch this space, one day. <laughs> I'm not that brave. Next stop is the... <laughs> is the edge of the world. <laughs> we have just arrived at our last official stop for the day of our exploring of... I was about to say Banff, but we're not in Banff, we're in Jasper. And we're it's Wits. It's called Edge of the World. It's not actually like an official trail by Parks Canada or anything. Um, but if you're wanting to come up to it, it's nine kilometers up the road that you turn off to go to Marmot Basin Ski Hill. And apparently it's got really good views over Jasper Town. So we're gonna go and find the start of that trail and then we're gonna go and have a look. Apparently it's a really short path, um, very little elevation, but very cool views. We'll get the map and still get lost. Standard. Does anybody else's wife look at a map and be like, Yep, a hundred percent and keep you going down the trail, but there's not actually a trail or is that just mine? Mm -hmm. I like to keep you on your toes, baby. And this is why I'm going bold and grey. Found it. This looks like a more defined path. What's the sugar done? <laughs> and to think she's the mature one. Little Miss Energizer Bunny is just fluffed off on me. This is beautiful and it was so easy to get to and if you don't want to pay however many dollars it costs to go up the Sky Tram for the views over Jasper, come here. It was free. I reckon on a clear day like that would be absolutely sunny. You can see just how tiny Banff is amongst these huge mountain ranges. Like, Jasper even. Did I say Banff again? Yeah. I'm so used to being in Banff. You can see how tiny Jasper is amongst these huge mountain ranges. Yeah, really beautiful. But we're going to get back to camp now before we get rained on because we've been very lucky all day and I don't know how much longer we can hold that luck for. So let's go. It's currently pouring with rain outside. So 
because our kitchen is at the back of the van we don't actually have like a proper cover for our kitchen area for cooking so we've got to do as much prep as we can indoors <laughs> to reduce the amount of time that we are actually outside in this rain we're hoping that it's going to clear we've been so lucky all day and i'm so thankful that the rain has held off for as long as it has because we've been able to enjoy today that like, will take like gloomy cloudy over rainy any day so yeah i'm currently chopping up some broccolini can you guess what we're gonna make I'll give you a hint. If you've been here for a while, you probably know exactly what we're making. Well, it appears the rain is not going anywhere, so we're going to set up the umbrella and get some cooking done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if we've ever actually shown you our like set up for the rain. So this is it. <laughs> it's not a full like waterproof umbrella, so it just does the trick to keep the rain off while we can get the cooking done. So I'm getting on to that so that we can eat. 